Welcome back to the Garza Gaming Channel. Today we're playing Cthulhu. The day is finally here. This monster is finally unleashed on Smite. And we're going to get a first look. A first look on day one. So for today's build, what I do is I put together a high damage, um, high penetration build. Uh, he's a guardian, but I pretty much built him like a mage or a heavy attack mage. So what I did is I went ahead and gave him the Shoes of Focus, Chronos Pendant, Spear of Desolation, Eternal Staff, uh, Divine Ruin, and Soul Reaver. So this is going to give him a little bit of survivability, but a really good punch and penetration. Again, it's going to take me a couple of times to actually play this god to really fine-tune a build that will work well for him. But I think this is going to be a pretty good starter build, at least to get a good baseline so where I can at least try this god out and see uh, how he works in arena. So, I mean, is this build going to work for us? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Let's get into it. So here you go with Cthulhu for the very first time. For, for all you that are new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on those notifications. We attempt to put out videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But sometimes we throw out videos throughout the week like this one. <laughs> so make sure you have those notifications turned on so you get notified when we do. So Cthulhu, man, I've been waiting for this day. We're going to see how we're going to do with this guy. We're going to see how we're going to do with this guy. He, from I remember for the PTS server, man, he was humongous. So I can't wait to see him here, how he works out in Arena. From what I understand, he got nerfed He got before they even released him. So he's supposed to be a little bit weaker but we'll find out just how much weaker um, the build that I did for him today is pretty high damage and high penetration so we'll see so we'll see um, by the looks of it we actually have a pretty decent lineup um, the only thing I can see on the opposition that might give us a little bit of issue might be that cuckoo con we'll see we'll see He's so big, I was tripping over my own guy. Look how massive he is. That's ridiculous, dude. That's just craziness. Hebo looks like a little ant. <laughs> wow. This is this is good. This is good. This is definitely good. Whew, so yeah, Cthulhu finally here. Now, the first couple times I play this guy, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be horrible because it's going to take some time to really learn him. But for this video, I'm, I mean, it's, it's, it's not about winning or, or losing per se as much as I want to see the um, his very different mechanics. Yeah, my bad, uh, Hebo. I can't see Jack under his feet. Okay, so it's basically oh, it does 46 damage. Which is not anything to write home about. But it's still early. Alright, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Alright, so we're going to have to... Be careful not to get too overexposed. Alright, it should be rooted. Ah, they got me. So obviously Cthulhu is going to be the focus of every game, so expect that. <laughs> Uh, realistically what I should have done is built a straight defense build just to learn this character and then later do a more uh, realistic build for damage and stuff but eh, I figured what the hey because that's I already anticipated that he was gonna be focused because everybody's scared of him right now nobody knows what to expect all right so far so good Wow, that number two has some pretty good range on it. All right. Now, for his number two, the first the first downpour actually roots the enemy, but the the um, the second one actually goes does a full out root. Retreat. 
Ah, I knew that was coming. So one tactic that I see people are using right now is they hold, like a Cuckoo Con especially, they hold their alt into you alt, and then they try to alt you in alt form. <laughs> because uh, it's just easier for, the, for them to hit you, really. You're such a big target. Let me head back and get my chronos pendant. Yeah, sorry, dude. I cannot read gibberish. Now remember the two is a channel so if you use your number two you can't cast any of the other um, any of the other attacks unless you right click out of it and cancel out of it Yeah, they're trying to move in on you. Man, they're all chasing me down, ain't they? <laughs> they all want some of Cthulhu. Nice, nice. these guys out all right got the root on them yeah, cuckoo Khan's a pain in the butt I can tell you that and like yeah I really didn't read too much into what his various different <laughs> abilities the, well, the 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 various different uh, things that each ability does uh, I just wanted to hurry up and get in here because I didn't have that much time and I wanted to cut this video before um, too long after it got released That's what they do, they roll in on him. And it's hard for him to see. So it makes it easy to kill. So that's the tactic for killing Cthulhu is roll up roll up on him when he's in alt form. Alright, let me head back. Ooh, so far so good so far so good yeah I, I decided to actually um, I decided to actually max my two first because it seems like his two is the the longer range weapon that does the root and the um, and the, actually the snare and the root so I mean I might change that later but for now it seems to be working really well so I, I prioritize that one first Look at 
Look at him hiding. <laughs> They're hiding. Uh oh, uh oh. I went right into that one, didn't I? Okay, so that's interesting. My uh, when I altered and it went to level up, it knocked me out of auto level. So be careful with that. So be very careful with that. An ally has been slain. Yeesh. Almost got away, almost got away. Yeah, but you see it knocked my auto buy off. Yeesh. That sucks. But only for um only for skills. And you know what? Merlin had the same issue when he first came out, so hopefully they fix that. Craziness. Craziness. Hopefully we get a full build. Hopefully we get a full build. I'd like to see. Alright. I think this item right here is going to work really well to pull some of the defenses. So when they roll up on you, you have a little bit of something to help you out. I wonder if I can go through walls. Yes, it does go through walls. Nice. Okay, you can use your, your three to get out of Hades' Hades attack. Nice, nice. So we just learned you can use your three to escape from Hades is the ult. So that's that's good. That's good to know. Freaking Cuckoo Con. All right, let's get up in there. Ah, nice one. Oh, good. Hebo guy. I was going to say, dude, who's backing me up? <laughs> we actually we actually came back, so that's good. That's good stuff. Um, but like I said, you know, this game is not... I wasn't trying to play this one to see who wins the board. I just want to get these mechanics. And so far, man, I tell you what, this guy is craziness. <laughs> Holy moly. He's just... It's going to get some getting used to, for sure. Having a Hebo on your team, I can tell you, helps out a lot with that with that speed. He uses little carpet as a little speed buff. It seems to help out really well. Oh man, I used my ult, but I went into him. Ew, that was disappointing. That was disappointing. So if you run into him, it stops you. Come on, give me out. Wow. Oh, my guys clean some up. <laughs> Jeez. They shredded me. And actually, I say expect that, man, because as soon as you go into alt form, everybody's going to freaking target you. You're going to have to be very careful. Um, I probably should have picked a Purwin instead of the Chronos Pendant. So have a little bit more defense, tell you the truth. 
And like I said, uh, this was just a quick video to, to get a first look at this guy. Uh, later on, I'll do another more in-depth video once I test a few um, builds. Uh, so far, this build is not too bad. But I can see that this guy definitely is going to need a little bit of... Uh, A little bit of defense. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So freaking crazy. Alright, you don't know, try to help this guy out. Let's see if we can finish out this build. We gotta be very careful because this is a really close game, really close game. Now that ult is gonna take some getting used to too. It's it, it has some delays in between uh, the attacks. I don't remember those delays to tell you the truth in the PTS server, so I don't know if that's new or I just didn't notice it uh, when I was testing. To tell you the truth. Yeah, they waited for me as soon as I go into that alt form. As soon as I went to that alt form. All right, full build, full build. That's what's up. That is what's up. Let's see if we can help this guy out. All right, this will get a little bit more. This will get a little bit more attack power here. All right, let's go take care of business. Nobody's behind me. This is a close one. This is definitely a close one. Boom. This is craziness. Ah, good game, good game. That was a close one. That was a close one. Eek. But like I said, it's pretty difficult. It's pretty difficult, but he was kind of fun. He was kind of fun. But he's going to take some practice, man. He's going to take some practice. Okay, so things we've learned today and, and from right at the get-go it might help you out when you start to, uh, to work with this guy is that one if you play against a Hades you can use your number three to get out of Hades' ult two if you're playing against this guy um, when he goes up into his ult it's best to rush the base of him and try to get behind him because it's very hard to look down on this guy so that it's a good defense for, uh, for Cthulhu 
And also a, um, a, no, a tactic I've seen people using is the, if you play Cuckoo Con, they're waiting for him to ult and then using that ult on, on him as soon as he ults because it makes for a bigger um, a bigger target. I bet you a Zeus would work just the same way. In fact, I'd even get that Belt of Frenzy and, and have that on hand. So as soon as you see him ult, you can pop that belt and then ult. That's, I think that's what I, I would plan on doing. Um, if I had to play against him. So, I mean, it is what it is. Let's see how we did. We did 24,000 player damage, 28,000 minion damage. Actually, that's not bad. It's 6, 8, and 21, which wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Let's see how we came out uh, stat-wise. Uh, 615 um, magic item power, which is really good. Uh, 30 penetration and 10. So, this build was actually not so bad. Um, I think it's just going to take a little bit more time for me to really play with this character to fine-tune a build but for to start out that wasn't actually a, a half bad build but hey that's cthulhu man first first look first look on on day one um so have you tried them yet if not hey give them a try i think you'll like them again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and turn on those notifications i'm dark garza you og on the ggc see you next time